So why is it that we feel that time is flowing if really, from the physics point of view, there's no difference between one, one moment of time and another? Well, the answer is at any one moment of time, the human brain is sort of reaching out to other moments of time, not physically reaching out, but it's carrying inside itself a version of what it thought happened a little bit ago and what it predicts will happen a moment next. The human brain in some sense, all brains, all animal brains, maybe even plant nervous systems, if you want to go that far, are trying to understand and predict their environment. They have information coming in and information only comes in from the past. And also if you're an animal anyway, you're going to act, right? You're going to behave in some way. So what the brain does is predict what it will do next. And at every moment of time, it remembers what it just did. And it also compares what it thought was going to happen. You know, when you put your hand on a surface, you thought it was going to be cool or hot or whatever. And then it is one of those or another. And you're remembering the difference between what you predicted and what actually happened. And at every moment in time, you're updating. That informs what I think will happen next. And the brain is just a sort of prediction and updating machine.